After We Fell is the third book in the After series by Anna Todd, depicting the tumultuous relationship between Tessa Young, an ambitious college student, and Hardin Scott, a rebellious British bad boy with a troubled past. Their relationship is characterized by intense love, fierce arguments, and Kant's challenges that test their bond. The novel begins with Tessa and Hardin's relationship at another crossroads. They are trying to move on from their previous struggles, which include misunderstandings, jealousy, and betrayal. Despite their issues, their connection remains undeniable, and they struggle to stay apart even when they know being together isn't always healthy. Early in the story, Tessa learns her father, whom she believed was dead, is alive but homeless and struggling with addiction. This revelation disorients her and further complicates her emotional state. Hardin, showing a softer side, tries to comfort Tessa, but his own complex feelings about his abusive father make him behave erratically. Tessa receives an internship offer from Vance Publishing in Seattle, which excites her but causes tension with Hardin, who feels threatened by the distance it would put between them. Tessa sees it as an opportunity to grow and build her future, but Hardin focuses on how it could pull them apart. Despite his initial negative reaction, Hardin decides to move with Tessa to Seattle and transfer to a university there, showing his commitment to their relationship. However, their plans are put on hold when Tessa's mother discovers she has been living with Hardin and lashes out, convincing Tessa to reconsider her move. Tessa feels torn between her family's expectations and her desires. Hardin's jealousy escalates when a co-worker, Trevor, shows interest in Tessa, leading to more disputes. During a visit to his mother in England, Hardin confronts painful memories and learns truths about his family that leave him reeling. His mother reveals that the man Hardin thought was his father is not his biological father, changing his view on family and identity. This crisis exacerbates his issues and he retreats into old, destructive patterns. Meanwhile, Tessa becomes more independent and begins to focus on her internship, developing a professional relationship with Trevor which sows seeds of jealousy in Hardin. Their relationship becomes strained because of Hardin's temper and trust issues. Tessa and Hardin try to navigate their personal demons and insecurities that plague their relationship. Tragedy strikes when Tessa's father dies from a drug overdose. She is devastated and leans on Hardin for support. Instead of bringing them closer, Tessa's grief and Hardin's inability to handle it properly lead to more friction. Hardin, Triggered by his unresolved issues and Tessa's growing independence, becomes more controlling and jealous, particularly of her relationship with Trevor. Tessa's frustration grows as she feels stifled by Hardin's insecurities, and their future becomes uncertain once more. In the midst of this, Tessa is also haunted by her past mistakes and the people hurt along the way, particularly her ex-boyfriend, Noah, and her mother, whom she's alienated due to her relationship with Hardin. She attempts to make amends and build bridges, trying to balance her personal growth with her need for others. Their relationship continues to oscillate between moments of passionate reconciliation and intense conflict. Despite their deep love for each other, the toxicity of their behaviors starts to become more evident. Tessa begins to question whether their love can overcome the persistent obstacles and whether she is losing herself in the process of trying to save Hardin from his demons. An unexpected twist occurs when Hardin's mother gets married and they return to England for the wedding. The trip is an emotional roller coaster, and the presence of Hardin's estranged father at the wedding brings unresolved tensions to the surface. Hardin spirals into destructive behavior, and a betrayal by a person close to him causes old wounds to reopen. The novel's tense environment gets more strained when Tessa suffers a life threatening accident and Hardin is confronted with the possibility of losing her. Hardin's emotional response to Tessa's accident brings them closer, highlighting the depth of his love for her. But as Tessa recovers, the couple face their issues head on. Tessa must balance her love for Hardin against the need to pursue her personal goals and maintain her independence. She confronts Hardin about his behavior, leading him to take a hard look at himself and his treatment of her. He starts to realize his actions are jeopardizing their relationship and begins the difficult work of changing his ways. 
As Tessa and Harden work to rebuild their relationship, Tessa starts to make progress with her internship and reevaluates her move to Seattle. She comes to the conclusion that she needs to go, with or without Harden, to carve out her own path and succeeds in securing a new apartment. Harden, recognizing he cannot hold Tessa back, makes one of the most significant decisions of his life. He chooses to support Tessa's dreams, demonstrating he has grown and is willing to put Tessa's needs before his own fears and insecurities. As the novel closes, Tessa prepares to embark on her new life in Seattle. The couple agrees to a long-distance relationship with promises to make it work. This is a turning point in their relationship as they confront the reality that love sometimes means letting the other person grow independently. After We Fell is a story of a young couple grappling with personal traumas, external pressures, and the challenges posed by an intense and often toxic love affair. The book explores themes of forgiveness, self-awareness, and the complexities of balancing love and personal growth. It presents a raw and messy picture of a relationship that, despite its deep flaws, is underpinned by a heartfelt bond that the characters are not willing to let go of. Through trials and tribulations, Tessa and Hardin consistently fight for their love, showing both the resilience and the fragility of the connection they share. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.